Aloha, everybody. This is Lorraine coming to you from Las Vegas. We're at a convention here and we're talking to some great experts and how they run their businesses. So we're going to bring you some great content coming up in the future. And we're also going to be giving you some great content right now. So let's get started. Let's go. And I want to share with you, how do I get my products sold before anybody else is on the page? It's quite simple, really. Pictures. Pictures do say a thousand words. Now, we don't want you to skimp on these pictures, okay? They, they are the most. Please understand this. They are the most important part of your listing. Your photographs say a lot. Now, think about it. If you go into Walmart or Target or wherever you go shopping, before you leave, you have your grocery list. Also, get a list of products you want to go through the store and just look at. Okay, just make a list. It could be a wrench. It could be toilet paper. It could be anything. Okay, it could be a skateboard. Things you would never think of. Just put them on a list. Now go look at them. When you arrive there, just look at them and say, which one would I choose? Hmm, that one. Now ask yourself why. Generally, it's the package design. It's something about it that brought some type of emotion to you. And this is what you want to convey in your Amazon business, you want to reach people on their emotional level. People are not just there to say, oh, that one, look, okay, that wrench, this wrench, you know, they're not looking, they're looking. Anytime you go to Amazon, open up a page and look and just browse through the page and you'll notice you'll scan back up because one caught your eye. That's what you're after. You're after what catches your eye. Now you want to open up their page and you want to look at it. You want to see what's going on. Hmm, why did I pick that one? So what I want to do is I want to show you something, okay? I'm going to show you why we pick and what we're looking for when we want to do our Amazon listing. So I'm going to go to some uh, basic wine glasses. This is what I've chosen today. Just simple wine glasses. I started perusing through a lot of these and I'm like, well, you know, I've got some company coming. Maybe I'll pick some wine glasses. There's some reasons why I like some of these and there's some reasons why I don't. What I wanna do is pick the best of the best of multiple products that I see. But there's a strategy to this too. Understand, your photographs have a strategy. Okay, so I chose this one first and I looked at the package, I looked at the front one because this caught my eye, okay? So now I'm gonna look at their second photo. Hmm. Okay, I don't really understand if you're trying to show me. So I'm going to hover over this guy. Okay, it's handcrafted. Okay, I get it. Mm. Now this one concerned me when I'm looking at it. How's my audience going to see this? I've got the wine glasses again. Um, hang on a second. But I have a lifestyle in here. I've got somebody cutting off one lady's face. I have the uh, woman in the black. She has her face turned. I have two people with their backs to me. And I see one guy to the side. Okay, mm, not impressed. Okay, now I'm finally going to get to one that, you know, shows me a little bit more about the wine glasses themselves. Then I have another one that shows me more about the wine glasses themselves. And then the certificate. And he has a video, which is smart. But the sequence is all off. You never want to do this sequence, okay? And I'm going to show you why in a little bit. So hang tight. This is really important. So I'm going to go check out another set of wine glasses. Okay. Now I've spotted this one and they have two going on. So I'm going to look at their first one. I don't like this. Okay. Wine connoisseurs are not going to gravitate to something that is cartoonish. These are wine connoisseurs, people who drink wine, maybe on a daily, you know, they're not looking for something. Me, I would turn away from this. I'm like, yeah, they're, they're, they're not showing me value. The next thing I see is, here's the photograph. I've got thank you cards. Those are going to go in my packaging anyways. I don't need to see your thank you cards, a bunch of them. I can see one of them. I can see that they're saying best wishes, happy birthday, but I can do this in a better way. It's giftable. This is cartoonish again, and they've cut out a beautiful bottle of wine. You can only see part of it. The roses are blocking it. You never want to do that to wine connoisseurs. So I would pay close attention to that. They're showing a little bit of how it's created. 
Mm, okay, fine. It's the bottom. This is actually a beautiful picture. Okay, they did well on this one. They did not do well on this one. Okay. What I see is I see the wine glasses. I see it's giftable. I see what they're going for, but I can't see the people. I can't see the emotion. Is she excited to see him? Thank you. You gave me a gift. I'm so happy. Where is her eyes? I can't see that. Well, I'm not really impressed with that. This is okay. This is actually good. And I like the fact that they put the grapes behind. Okay. This is well done, but I only see two pictures that I really liked. Other than that, I would kind of say, okay, let's see what else you got. Okay. Now I've chosen this one. I'm a little bit concerned with this one because Swarovski has that too. And the same package package design, but they're giving me some extra value, which is nice. And they're differentiating their glasses. Let's go look at the pictures though. This is your selling point. I see an informational. Okay. I see another informational. I see another informational. Now we're getting to some with some people in it. This is blurry. I don't like that. And this is a nice photo. Now this is what we're talking about. This is using people, their emotions. Look how much joy they're showing. That's a great photo. But so far, their sequence is off. And we're going to show you it's coming. So wait for it. <laughs> So the next one I chose, another one, cartoonish. We don't want to do cartoonish when you're talking about wine connoisseurs. I also see this is like the foam packaging. Um, it's a great idea to do this in your uh, packaging, but I'm not really sure I want to show a bunch of foam when I'm talking about wine and crystal glasses. Okay, this is busy. This is so busy. I have no idea what's going on. That is way too busy. I would turn away from this. I'm like, yep, your certificate's right up in front. And this one is cut off, hand-blown glass. Uh, they can do better. Now, it's crystal. So I've got a picture of crystals. It has nothing to do with my product. I have the glass blown and it's cut. And I can see uh, an excellent flow and it is not right. It's just not right. Their package design can be a whole lot better. So these are the pictures I'm seeing. So what it's telling me is you're really not putting in the effort to sell me. So this is not good in my opinion. Now I've seen another one. Okay, now this is a beautiful set. I have different kinds of wine in here. I actually like that. Very nicely done. I have a great photo. I would change this one out, but this is a really good photo. This is a good photo. Well done. And they're showing you the actual glass blowing being done. I like this. And this is beautiful. That would be my second photo. This is this one I do like. And then finally, their certificate. Now, here's what I'm talking about. When you're trying to display your product on Amazon, there is a sequence you need to use because this is what attracts the attention. So my first one is here's my product. I'm going to go straight into showing how luxurious my product is. Isn't that luxurious? And now I'm going to go into an informational. And now I'm going to go into the personal side, the emotion. I see no emotion in her at all. So I would be like, mm, I need to change that photo. This could be a problem. And then I'm going to go into another informational. So you want to do the emotion the information, the emotion, the information. You're taking them on different levels. Oh, let me see. It's like this one. Oh, that looks really nice. Oh, so that's how tall it is. That's really nice. Oh, that's a nice photo of him using it. And they have somebody who's dapper, well-dressed. This represents wine and wine glasses. Now that I like. And then in the end, here's your warranty. And it has a support. Now, be careful when you're doing anything like that. Email support, that can suppress your listing because Amazon wants to be in complete control of your support. You can do this on other platforms, but not on Amazon. Eventually, they'll catch this. So be very careful when you're trying to do something working around TOS. I would not suggest it. Not a good idea. So now, when I'm looking on the wine glasses, here I want to show you something else. And I'm going to show you something. People, you want to be different from others. You want to show something. Now, this one will probably get suppressed because you're not allowed to have that. 
Okay, it just has to be your product on white background. They'll eventually catch up and it's usually at a critical time. A critical time is when I'm running out of stock, I have a new shipment coming in and they start to scan your product and they will pull up your product. And guess what? Oh, suppression. They spotted something against TOS. And now you've got all your new product in and, and you're suppressed. No, we don't want that to happen. So please, and even if you do have this one on, I do not suggest you put it up there, put another one up there. You know, you have shipments coming in, but there was also another one that caught my eye. Now check this one out. And I'm going to tell you why I chose to just, yeah, no. And it's not the product itself. I mean, I mean, it's nothing against the seller. I'm looking at the product. Okay. I'm looking at the photographs. Okay. What I see on these photographs, it's different. It can be put in different ways, like standing up, laying down, and people like to do the new thing. So they're like, oh, I'll just lay mine down like this. But what do I see? I, it looks like my wine's going to pour all over my white pants. <laughs> I'm like, uh, yeah, I don't think so. So what's going to happen? Boom. I'll go to somebody else. I'm concerned with that one. That one makes me nervous. And not only myself, if my guest decides to lay it down. And what if people are drinking and ha, 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 and they lay it down to the side, the thing splashes and it gets all over us. That concerns me. So I would say, no, I'm not going to do that. That's a big concern. So what you need to understand when you are doing your photos, make them elegant, make them nice, bring it out, bring that photograph that's going to touch somebody. So I like this photograph. I like this one the best on him. I would mimic that one. I would go to somebody else's photograph. I definitely would not do this with wine. I wouldn't do this one because it's too busy. I don't like that one. I'm trying to find something I liked on these guys. Okay, so this is a product I would probably not choose because people buy on emotion. Now, this is nice. So right now, what I see is this one. So I would like this photo on mine. I do like this photo. So I'm looking at the emotion side first and I like this photo. Okay, so I have ideas now on the direction I wanna go. Now I'm gonna look at other ones and I'm gonna look at how do they display theirs. So I'm, I found what I'm looking for emotionally first and now I wanna look at how they're displaying this. See, this is well done. I have it from every angle. That photograph can stand alone, love it. They went on to do a lot of busy stuff. What I want to see is the when I get to my informational, I want my informational only. I already know what your product is. It's right there. And it's going to be in your emotion. This is a beautiful photograph. It's actually very nice. But it doesn't have a lot of those little circles on it taken away from the product. So yes, I would do this one first maybe and that one second. But this, no. I've got the product again, and I have informational. You don't mix the two. You want to do them separately so that people can focus on what it is. And here's the key. First product, first you're going to have your description. Now we're going to go into here. Here's your first photograph, okay? Your bullet point over here needs to match your first photograph so they can follow along. People don't do this. They just go into their bullet points and people are get a little bit confused. But if I have my photograph, my bullet point, my photograph, my bullet point, it matches, see, elegant, exquisite glass, long stem. It's describing this photo. So that's how you do it. One, two, one, two for photograph. And this is how people enjoy my listings. I make sure I pay close attention to my photographs, and then I bullet point each photograph as it's going, and they can follow along, and it makes it much easier for them to make a decision. Now, you want to pay attention to that emotion. People love emotion. People buy on emotion. People buy on what they see at first. This is why they're clicking on your listing. Your photograph is so important, and leave out all the cartoonish stuff. It looks redonkulous. This is redonkulous. Absolutely redonkulous. Gabisha redonkulous. You know what that means? Hmm. Don't do that. People are here to buy something, especially when you're dealing with things like wine glasses or moms who want to buy something special gift wise. You're looking at products that people are tending to want 
to be serious about what they're buying. You know, I'm serious about buying this. Even when you're buying a toy for a child, you want to buy something where you're showing the child playing with it. They're smiling. They're having so much fun. It's like, look at this. They're hugging it. You know, don't just have them looking at the product like children don't do that. They grab it and they hug it. You know, oh my gosh, I love this. this look at this car, you know, do things like this, things that will play on somebody's emotion. And that's how you sell above all the others. I hope you enjoyed this and you want to learn more about how to do this. Just go ahead and click our link. Let us know how you feel about this. And we'll see you in our next video because we're going to be bringing you some great content. Aloha.